What's up, it's Zero from Vandalistica Vlogs, and today, um, I just wanted to talk about something that got brought to my attention when I was at work, uh, yesterday, and that is a story that's going around about Air New Zealand weighing its passengers, um, now, I don't know the, the facts of the matter, um, so, uh, we're going to have a look at what, uh, the BBC has to say about it. So, the old BB Swa in New Zealand, weighing passengers before flying. Uh, in New Zealand is weighing passengers before they board international flights as part of a survey to determine average passenger weight. The weight will be anonymously recorded in a database, but not be visible to airline staff or other passengers, the firm said. In New Zealand said, knowing average passenger weight could improve fuel efficiency in the future. Uh, participation in the survey is voluntary, the airline added. Uh, the airline previously weighed domestic passengers in New Zealand in 2021. Now that international travel is back up and running, it's time for international flies to weigh in, the airline said in a press statement. Before the pandemic, the airline flew more than 17 million passengers. Blah, 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 blah. So, uh, we know stepping on stales. We know that stepping on the scales can be daunting. We want to reassure our customers there is no visible display anywhere, Mr. James said. Um, that's airline spokesman Alistair James. By weighing in, you'll be helping us fly safely and efficiently every time. Air New Zealand will be asking more than 10,000 customers traveling on its international network to take part in the survey. Passengers will be weighed at the gates of certain flights departing from Auckland International Airport between the 29th of May and the 2nd of July, which is your boy, because I am flying back to New Zealand on the 26th of June. I'm going to see my mommy. Uh, the airline said that everything that goes on in its aircraft, from cargo and onboard meals to luggage in the hold, is weighed, and that for customers, crew, and cabin bags, it is used average weights based on survey data. In New Zealand, as national carrier of the country, has 104 operating aircraft. Isn't that nice for them? Now, a colleague of mine at work uh, enjoys the comedy stylings of one Chrissy. I legit, I cannot remember her name. I oh, know she's some kind of. Uh, comedian and radio host and blah 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 who it's a radio show it's whatever uh, she got on there and uh, was talking about how it's an outrage uh, that people would be weighed it's disgusting children might be weighed and how traumatic that would be for a child to be weighed and uh, you know the reactionary thing is to be like that's not nice. Um, all while leaving out the fact that nobody was going to see it, including the people there, the airline staff working there, they don't see your weight. You don't see your weight. The other passengers around you don't see your weight. People in the airport would have a better chance of guessing your weight by looking at you than trying to figure out what the scales is recording. So her emitting that in her radio show is really, it's it's one of two things. Either it's ill-informed or it's ill-willed. Because either she's talking about, either she's having an emotional reaction to something that she doesn't have all the facts on, or she does know and she's emitting certain details to make it seem worse than it is. The other thing was that it was her use of the word triggering, which is, I 
fucking I cannot stand that in the buzzword economy I'm surprised that it still has weight but it definitely does <laughs> when somebody says ah that's triggering oh, well, yeah. is it they're telling you that they're doing it do you know what would be real triggering is if they didn't tell you they were doing it oh my gosh the other thing which um i'll quickly just um let's go back to this and have a quick look it doesn't say here i don't believe i mean you know it's a very short um story because why would you spend any more than 12 minutes on writing this article it doesn't say whether or not the recording of the weight lines up with the actual passenger which to be honest I don't believe there's any talk of uh, like a fat tax which I think is what your mind goes to right you're this much above the average weight therefore your ticket should cost more because I mean we're talking about minuscule minuscule numbers but you are causing the plane to to use more fuel to be able to go right there is that idea but if you're just a percentage of the soft weight on the airplane and your individual weight isn't recorded to your booking then there's no way to there's no way to tell that like i said before people would have a far easier time guessing your weight looking at you than trying to find out what the scales recorded it's pretty funny it turned into a massive hours long <laughs> sniping session uh, between her and i mostly because i enjoy annoying people it's out like it's terrible 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 uh habit but it's something that it's something I've done for the longest time, honestly. Just getting people rolled up, just to see them rolled up. <laughs> Don't mean anybody any harm or anything. It's just funny to see people flip out. Um, that combined with her inability to let go of things. <sighs> I think it's funny because she was saying... Well, I'm never going to fly on a Air New Zealand flight ever again. So? So what? There, there aren't enough people who would be annoyed by this. Genuinely annoyed to the point of doing something about it. Boycotting a company. That it would make any difference to their bottom line. And she's convinced. She's convinced herself, she said. Well, you wait. You wait and see what happens. Like Air New Zealand is going to dissolve because people are so self-conscious about how fat they are and don't want it recorded. It's absurd. Basically, she was saying that there was some kind of math where, say, half of people, if half of the customers were offended and half were not, then if half of the offended customers actually boycotted the company, that would send them under. Sure, whatever, if you if you say so. But even in this body positive, fat is beautiful, non-body shaming culture that we live in, that is so far from being a reality. But anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm just playing with the new microphone I bought. Picked up this bad boy today. On sale. Uh, it's the Behringer BX2020. Uh, it is a condenser mic. It's XLR. I, I don't think I... I don't really have anything against a USB input mic. Um, I think I've got one. Actually, somewhere around here. But I have a audio inf interface that I use for um, music stuff. I can record through that into the computer. And I rec can record things into it. Does that make sense? I think it does, yeah. So, microphones can go into it. 
the guitars can go into it. I think it was uh, 99. It was 99. It was uh, down from 135. And I figured I was out shopping all day. Might as well spend more money. <laughs> That's terrible. That is a terrible, terrible way to justify that. I just went out and bought some jeans. I also ordered myself these glasses that I've got on, that I've had on. I've had these glasses since, well, actually, the optometrist told me I've had them since 2019. These glasses are <laughs> pre-COVID, but I actually broke them um, just here. And I have been putting, like, I glued it in all sorts of shit. Uh, I've actually, currently, that is open. That space right there is actually open. So that lens can pop out. It's literally held in with tension. But, I mean, I get a pair of glasses for, like, $90 these days. I went and uh, had an eye test done, uh, which is funny because I hadn't had it done since 2019 and my eye health hasn't changed. So that's nice. I don't have glaucoma. I don't have the little glaucomies. I also don't have uh, like what my sister and my mom have, which is uh, keratoconus. Actually, heck, you know what? Let's, let's turn this into a medical video. <laughs> Let's go back to our little web page here. Eye condition in which your cornea, the clear dome shaped front of your eye gets thinner and gradually bulges out into a cone shape. Make your vision all weird. Woo, that's a real good one. Which is, yeah, that's crazy looking. It's like a football coming out of your eye. And like distorts your vision and shit. Yeah. So that's cool. I don't have that. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's all I really wanted to talk about. Fat people getting pissed off at work listening to the radio because they're worried about somebody's going to find out how fat they are. <laughs> uh, and hey, this is from a fat. From a fat. I'm a fat. It's just, it's not a big deal. If you if you're self-conscious about your weight or your body image so much so that you will boycott a airline that you probably don't use anyway maybe put some of that energy <laughs> into eating better and you know working out not even working out it's like, fuck go for a walk or something I just don't care I'll just be fat oh don't fit my jeans anymore they make bigger jeans. They make stretchy jeans. <laughs> catch a boy in some jeggings. <laughs> um, probably not, but it's just my little rant video. With all that being said, God bless. Look after each other, and I'll see you in the next video. Possibly with another person now that I have two microphones. Bye.